Hey everyone, Matt here from Wi-Fi Ninjas. We do wireless podcasts and wireless blogs. You can find more content from us over at wifi ninjas.net. But what I want to talk to you guys today about is a company called Mist. And what I want to show you is just how easy it is to add an access point from Mist to your Mist Cloud dashboard. I currently have a Mist AP41 running in production in my home network but I have just received a brand new AP43 from Mr. UC Kivinyemi, so thank you very much, UC. This is the packaging that the Mist AP comes in. It's very nice, sleek, um, brown box design. And uh, here is the beautiful Mist access point. We can see it's got the nice, sleek little Mist logo on the front and the LED, but um, what I really wanna show you guys that is quite important that we'll come back to shortly is the um, the claim code on the back. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. We'll come back to that in a few moments time, but that claim code is gonna be how I claim the access point to my dashboard. But what I wanna show you quickly is my cloud missed cloud dashboard. So now you can see my screen. You can see that I have logged into my Wi-Fi Ninjas organization. We can see some wireless network statistics here, but what I wanna show you is my access points. And at the moment, like I said, I've got one missed AP41 connected. Um, it says AP41 because that's how I've named it there, but we, if you look on the actual access point, we can see that it says AP41 in here also. So yeah, I've got the one AP connected at the moment. So I'll just go back to the access point screen. And what I'm gonna do is connect my iPhone, so give me just two seconds. iPhone is connected. Now I can share my iPhone screen with you guys. Can you see that? No, nope, of course you can't. Let me try again. <clears throat> Here we go. Cool, so now we can see my iPhone screen. I'm just gonna load the Mist AI application, which now fires, gives me a few options because I've already signed into my organization which is the wi-fi ninjas and i'm going to claim ap to org by hitting this green button it gives me two options for a qr code or a claim code now i'm going to use the claim code because that will fire up my camera of my iphone and i can just scan the claim code on the back of the missed ap it will happen very quickly so let me just hit claim code oh sorry qr code and there we go so success the ap has been successfully claimed to my organization and now if i go into my ap inventory i can see that i've got assigned and an unassigned now i've got my unassigned access point here so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to pause the video whilst i plug in the access point and then go back to my missed dashboard Okay, so I've just plugged my Mist AP43 into my switch, so it's got internet connectivity so I can get back to the cloud. So what I wanna show you again now is my access point page on my Mist uh, dashboard. So let me just share my screen again. So now we're back on my access point page. We can see that I have that unassigned access point that I just scanned with my QR code. So what I need to do is over here, click on the unassigned access point, and then this option here where it says assign to, and then change it from unassigned, assign it to my organization and then straight away it will go into my um, claimed access points into my organization as easy as that. It will say disconnected for a, a few moments whilst it's downloading its uh, configuration from the cloud. Uh, but if what I want to do is I want to go into my access point, I want to rename it to keep it with my naming convention. So I just call it mats underscore home underscore AP 43 and hit save. And then when we come back in a few moments time, we'll be able to see that the access point is connected to my my dashboard because it's been able to pull down the config from the cloud and connect okay. So I'll just pause it whilst it's just going through that cycle. And a few seconds later, we can now see that my access point AP43 is now connected and working on my Miss dashboard. So guys, it really is just as simple as that. If you wanna, uh, add your missed access points to your cloud. You can use many different ways, but I like the way of using the application and sc scanning the QR code. And then moments later, we can see it in your in your dashboard. So, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful, and I will see you guys again very soon.